And today, we want to do even more to put control and power back in people's hands. So now, whenever you sign into a new app with Facebook, you're going to see this dialog. And if you want, you're going to be able to easily change line by line what you share with this app. So in this case, I'm <laughs> so in this case, I want to sign in, but you know, I might not be comfortable yet sharing my email address or you know, revealing exactly how much I love Lana Del Rey, or you know, maybe I just don't want to listen to summer, Summertime Sadness on repeat right now. You know, whatever the reason is, um, you know, I don't want to talk about it right now. It's fine. Um, I, I, can, I can just uncheck these boxes, and, and I'm done. With the new login, I can sign in on my own terms. And, and if I don't want to edit anything here, then I can sign in with exactly the same number of taps that it took before. There's no extra friction. So as a developer, this is going to help more people be comfortable signing into your apps and engaging with them. There's, there's one more login product that I, I want to talk to you guys about today. How many times have you installed an app and wanted to try it out, but you haven't wanted to create a brand new account, or you're not yet ready to sign in with your real identity? Today, we're going to solve this with a new service that we're introducing called Anonymous Login. And the idea here is that you know, even if you don't want an app to know who you are yet, you still want a, a streamlined experience for signing in that removes the hassle of filling out all these different fields. So you know, here's how it works. You can kind of see it. This is what you're going to see the first time that you tap on the Anonymous Login button. And, and of course, you know, after subsequent times, it's just a one-tap experience to get in. So you, you want a hassle-free way to log in and try apps. You probably also want an experience that can be synced across devices, which is possible because we'll provide an anonymous identifier even if we're not telling the app who you are. So you're going to be able to have a, an experience that's synced without the app actually even knowing who you are for the first time. So this is going to let you try apps without fear, and then if you want, you can always sign in uh, with your real identity to personalize the app a bit later on once you're more comfortable using that app. So that's anonymous login.